Guys, it's four o'clock in the morning. It's pitch black. We've got fuel. Let's head to Manchester across the country. You don't care how I get there. See you when we're there. You from Manchester? You like Manchester? Yeah, yeah, near Manchester. No, you aren't. Sharp, Neil. The birds are loving it. Welcome back, guys, to another AJWF. It's 2024. It is for the love of wrestling number four. And here we are, the main hall. You've got the ring in the middle, your autographs, your photos, the bar. On the other side, you've got all the traders. But look at all this. Cosplay everywhere. Let's get stuck in. Bada the boom. British guys in the room. How you doing? For anybody that's been living in a cave, I'm a massive Lana or CJ Perry fan, so let's see if we can find her. First off, like I mentioned, for this cosplay, and there's my friend Lisa as Becky Lynch. Let's have a look what they're up to here. World of, world of, what are we called now? I don't know. I'm guessing she means world of figures, my friend Sean Wheels. He met Swoggle dressed as Swoggle. That's his YouTube channel. What are we called now? I don't know. <laughs> just just she's, just got three, she's got three, she's well. got three. Just for Dana Brown. Yeah, you said it. AJWF. AJWF. Hashtag. Hashtag AJWF. Subscribe, like, right. subscribe. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm Irish pro wrestler Mayla Grace and you're watching AJWF. Make sure to check me out on social media at Mayla Grace on the slash X. And while you're here, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Massive thanks to Mayla Grace for the intro there. There's more cosplay. My friend Justine here. Let's get a selfie with Rhea Ripley. And check this one out. It's Lana from the WrestleMania 31 from memory. She looks just like Lana, which I guess is the point. And guys, the epic Liv Morgan cosplay from last year, she's back again as Liv Morgan, looking amazing. Also guys, how amazing is this China cosplay? Come on, for all the cosplayers, fully respect to you. Anyway, let's head to this merch area and I will do a fig hunt on a separate video, but here's a quick glimpse. Got to give a big shout out to David World Toys. This store had so much, but look what caught my eye. More on this later, but it is the big Hasbro Hogan. It's the pull string, the talking one. And also, they had an LGM black card of the big boss man. Now, for those that aren't aware of figures, this is pretty rare. I've never held a black card LGM in my life, so this is a first. Guys, guess who we just bumped into? First off, it is Mr. Joey Knight. Oh, good. There he is. Back on the vlog. Again. Back on the vlog. You got any How's more figures yet? I, you know, it's, it's, it's been a year. It's been a year. There should be about hundred. Guys, guys, guys. One more variants. What's in this box? <laughs> <laughs> well, Prime. No, there's, there's private variants. You know. It's good mix with Logan Paul. All right, let's get a photo. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Wait, right, sir. Turn it up. I'm on photography duty for my friend Finn. Anyway, let's head to the ring because Swoggle's there. <laughs> You got it, Vince is definitely not his dad. Do you want to give Dylan, aka Hornswoggle, a massive shout out? He came up to me out of nowhere and complimented the old major wrestling figure hoodie, and that is epic. But I was not always ready, I didn't have my phone out. But we got a photo with him, and what a nice guy. Dylan, you're a legend. While I was walking around, I did spot this Swoggle retro figure. It is tiny, I love it. And Luke over at Epic Toys, he sorted me out with this one, so that is appreciated. Even though, it is such a tiny little retro figure, but I love it. They were also showing off some of their new releases that are coming up, and that Bobby Heenan at the back there, that has got to be one of the retro figures that you don't want to miss out on. What's good, that's not no, I haven't forgotten this year, honest. He's here, he's here. How you doing, mate? Finn, man. You made him, mate. Yeah, I found my year. There he is. Subscribe, we've got a lot of wrestling figures. That's it. Got him here in one piece? Yeah, got him here in one piece, yeah. 
No. Do remember, if you're looking at retro style figures, Mr. Retro himself will pop up out of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Plug yourself. Look, I'll plug myself. That's a bit of a personal thing to do. With Epic Toys Podcast. Now I'm over here at the real wrestling stand and it looks like they've got the big wheel out. There's nothing like spinning the wheel for a chance to win wrestling merch. It is spread out this year, so we've got to run back to the ring because there's a legend appearing. Hello, wrestling. Welcome in the middle of this ring, the one, the From a Slammy Award to a great photo shoot, I got the chance to meet Mandy and she was absolutely lovely. Progress Wrestling, they had their setup here as well and I got the chance to meet Lana Austin. She even took a selfie when I said I was a fan of Alexis Falcon, so that's appreciated. And we got to see Laura as well. She is totally too sweet. I will just show you guys here along the back wall. This is where all the autographs take place. All your favourite wrestlers lined up, ready and waiting. And there's also a ring set up away from the main ring where you can get a photo op. Guys, I managed to get a selfie with SoCal Val, which makes up for missing out on one about 10 years ago at an indie show. But moving on, look, I found Gladiator Jet merch. This brings back memories. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the AJWF YouTube channel. He's awesome, by the way. Check him out. <laughs> From one legend to two more, it is Lita and Trish making their way to the ring. Lita and Trish, what absolute legends. And let's check out Jimmy, who's very happy. This is the best picture that's ever been taken. What should we all blast? Because on a Sunday... Not that one, but that's awesome too, but that's not the one. This one, mate, team bestie for life, come on, man. Team bestie for life. <laughs> If we can wrestle in, he's in the team bestie. Are you happy, mate? Oh, mate, look at the, look at the smile on my face. <laughs> Got to give a big shout out to these four guys as well. Not only for putting up with me all day, but they are legends. It's appreciated, guys. Guys, we're waiting for Lana. Who's this dude? Thumbs up. Get a sneaky freebie with Lana. <laughs> Massive shout out to that guy. Didn't get your name. He was in front of us in the queue for Lana. And yeah, he said he watched last year's vlog the day before. So it's appreciated. Mission complete, guys. We got to meet CJ Perry in person. What an absolute lovely lady, even though the photographer wasn't happy that she wanted to have a quick little word about how cool my shirt was. Lana is the best. Lana's number one. Lana is the best. Lana, number one.
Guys, got to meet the indie sensation that is Harley Hudson. Spoiler alert, she was epic at the after show wrestling. Picked up the Hogan. It's a good price on it. We've also got sexual chocolate mark anyway. I'll show that in a bit because we're going in here again. It is mega busy, guys. Anyway, I'll spin this camera around and we'll keep going. We have Beltmasters showing off their display of amazing titles. And let me try and find Jimmy and the gang because I need to show them what I've brought. And a massive thank you to Dave's World Toys for giving me a great price on that Hogan. Honestly, it's appreciated. And how cool is this sexual chocolate? Um, it's signed, but it's not got a COA. So I kind of got it for a better price. I don't care about it being signed. I'll open it up. There are so many figures here, guys. It's unbelievable. Even Matt Cardona's dad's got a figure. But let's go find out who else we can spot. Here is James. He got a quick selfie here with Mandy. <laughs> cosplayers doing what cosplayers do. You've got to love it. Anyway. Into the ring, it is Scott Steiner, the legend that is Scott Steiner, Mr. Big Popper Pump. Uh, the audio was not great this year, I'll be honest with you, so I couldn't really film a lot of this. But I did see on social media <laughs> that when he was signing things, he was putting the price up for some of the items he had. Uh, I think if he had like a, a original Hasbro, he put the price up. Well, there's only one thing to say, guys. That is about the end of the day, guys. We're going to sit back and watch the live Future Shock Wrestling at the after party. I'll give you my thoughts, though, on the day as a whole. Monopoly events, you did well. I think the way the arena was set out, different, but I guess it worked. It did feel a lot more spacious. There was a lot more seating for people that needed it, which I think is always a bonus, isn't it? Uh, the guests-wise, they all seemed cool. Uh, Dylan Hornswoggle, he was an absolute legend, not just because I am a Major Wrestling Figure podcast fan, but yeah, he was great, so massive shout out to him. Lana was so lovely, Mandy, absolutely epic, and the only thing I would change, Monopoly, bring back the protectors on the photos, because, yeah, when you haven't got anywhere to store them, like I didn't, I had to run outside to the car just to make sure they weren't, like, folded or creased, but bar that, I guess that's a small thing. I enjoyed it, and hopefully, we'll see it again next year. Wait for any announcements, I guess. Anyway, guys, until next time, I appreciate you guys for watching. Do check out the last year's vlog, the year before that. Keep on collecting. Thank you very, very much.